welcome back guys so my name is vivek so this is the today's session so we can take a long session today why because uh, last we didn't take us uh, i didn't take us sessions about the aws so somewhat i'm busy with my project in the, my company organization that's why i'm not able to uh, take the session so this is the session number eight so we completed up to let's see how much we completed oh those people are want to learn uh, like uh, microservices architectures step by step i am um, i am just uh, implementing okay just follow this video so seven videos are we have completed okay those are people are first time visiting our channel so there you can get our uh, what is that uh, notes in the itric study park okay here is our note is there okay so you can follow our instagram page also this is just scan this instagram and our there i am just uploading okay i'm uploading lots of things related to daily questions all these things i'm uploading so just click on this here the instagram is opening just i am showing to you okay get a start let's see okay okay wait it's i think instagram in there my handle let's start confirm okay so itsp technologies we have just i am uploading all the uh, uh some notes and some uh, quiz also i am uploading so there you can get it so please follow this page follow this itsp technologies so now how we can get the notes let's see so in the group 130 people are there and in the file sections go and here you can get the microservices notes are there aws last session just click on this download okay now i want to open just we need to one shoot out round about this okay patients so here you can see last session we did uh, discuss about the regions and availability zones so now tell me what is that region? The region are the geographical area. Example, AWS in the Mumbai is region. Mumbai is the region. This is the geographical area. The availability zones. Availability zones is the data centers. Okay. What is that availability zone is the data centers. So now these, these are the availability zones. Okay. These are the availability zones. And this is these the these are the regions. Okay. This is the region, and these are the availability zones are there. Availability zones are code is like Asia specific, south to south like that. Okay, region is the place where AWS is the own infrastructures. Okay, regions are the having multiple data centers like we have a Mumbai regions. Okay, Mumbai regions having multiple data centers like one data center means availability zones. That's why we said the availability zones. Okay. No, no, next, next we discuss regions and availability zones are completely managed by who is managed? AWS is managed, right? Okay. And AWS network are interconnected. Okay. Availability zones means is the data centers. Okay. Data centers are interconnected in that particular regions. Okay. If in the another regions, data centers are not connected. Okay, that region also not connected, but by default. Okay, but inside the regions, uh, availability zones is by default is connected. But outside of the regions, data centers and regions are by default is not connected. If it is required, then you can establish the connection between these regions. Okay. By default communication each other. So regions are not by default communicated each other, right? So instance instance across AWS zones share the data as a 
interconnected with other. These are the sharing the data each other. So, okay. Suppose these data centers are totally goes down. Some mishappening is done here. So this suppose this data is down. So it, your application should not be down. Okay, your application should be up. So the the that request goes to the another data centers availability job. Okay. <clears throat> so now, so this is the architecture. First we have AWS. Okay. AWS, then we have a region. Inside the regions, we have a BPC, virtual private computer. Okay, and then after that, availability zones, EC2s, okay, and all these things we have. So, this is BPC and virtual private computer. Virtual private cloud and inside that virtual cloud we have availability zones like called data centers. Inside the availability zones we have EC2s like multiple EC2s like Elastic Compute Cloud we have. So this is the last sessions. Okay, we completed regions and availability zones. Now today's session we are going to learn some <clears throat> what is that? Some uh, services which are provided by AWS. Okay, some basic points we are going to learn and in the some upcoming sessions, we are going to deep into that, okay, these services. But we need to some foundation about this services, which service AWS are providing. So just go. Okay, so now first service is we have, what is that, I have to create the notes. So we, I don't want to waste your time also. I don't want to waste my time also as well. So we have, okay. So we have EC2, first services we have EC2. EC2 nothing but the elastic compute. The spelling is mistake is there, compute cloud. Okay, don't say elastic compute Okay, cloud compute. Now, this is the elastic compute cloud we have. So, this is the full form of EC2. So, EC2 is a nothing but a service. Okay, by using EC2 service, we launch a EC2 instance. Okay, what is that EC2 instance is nothing but a service. We launch a EC2 instance by using EC2 service. Okay, and EC2 service is the regional service. Okay, regional means, suppose we have this uh, region. Region, I, I, the last session I have told, the region is nothing but a geographical area, like Mumbai. So, EC2 is the uh, geographical. Inside the data centers, we have availability zones. Inside the availability zone, we have EC2. You create one EC2 service inside this availability zone. So this service is available on up to this region. So that's why we say that this is the regional service. And server is nothing but the instance or EC2. What is that? I said to you now. So by using EC2 service, we create we launch a servers. And servers you can call that instance. Server is nothing but an instance. So now this is the basic point of EC2. Okay. That is, I want to tell you. Okay. So now, next come into the picture, the load balancers. What is that? Load balancer. So what is the meaning of load balancer? Suppose we have multiple servers. We have a multiple server, right? Server 1, EC2 1, EC2 3. Like that we have. Yeah. EC2. EC2 server 1 and EC2. Yes, 3, server 3, server 2, server 1. Like that. And we have one load balancer. Here we have one LV. <coughs> LV. So, user sent to the request LV. Then LV, what the LV is doing? LV is distribute the request to multiple servers. Like based on your traffic, based on your Traffic load balancer is distributed the 
traffic to multiple servers. So here LB is distribute the traffic to the servers. So this is the use of load balancer. So load balancer in that <clears throat> uh, AWS we called ELB. ELB means elastic load balancer. Elastic load balancer. Okay. It is completely and next point is it's managed by totally managed by AWS. We are not responsible to manage by because this is uh, one server, one service, okay, which are provided by AWS. It's serverless. Okay, it just go and use this service. Okay, so if you want to if you want to see, I can show you. Don't worry. So just I need to log in my AWS. Okay. AWS just I am going to show you. Okay, so you can easily what is that uh, understand? So sign in. So I am just give me some second. Okay. So I need to erase this. Okay. So now I need this my account password. I am just putting. Okay. Delta. Sign in. My password is perfectly good. Okay. It's a good. Okay. So now this is the EC two services. Okay, just click on EC2. Inside this, you can see here we get a load balancing. Load balancer, we got it. Okay, so load balancer, we need it. Okay. This I need to take a screenshot. Okay. So for the reference purpose, inside the load balancer and auto scaling is there. It's a server side. If you want to do the load balancing, so auto scaling is there. In the last sessions, we discussed about the auto scaling, like auto increment, auto decrement is there by using this auto group, auto scaling group. You can figure that how much. Don't worry, I will teach all these points. Just I'm uh, taking the snapshot for you. Load balancer, copy this. Okay, so now just okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. Oh. So now this is got it. This is the load balancer. We got it. Load balancing. So got this point. Got it. What is my point? Yeah. Okay. So now next is. You can log in to the ELV. Only you can access the ELV, Elastic Load Balancer. You are not logging to, into this service, service. Okay, just you can use this service. Okay. ELV does not have availability zone. It is a create at a regional level. Okay, you cannot create in the regional level. You cannot create. It is, E ELV does not have availability zones. Okay, it is not had availability zone. It is created at the regional level, like data region level. You can create like Mumbai level. You can create load balance. So that is meaning. So load balancer target group trusted storage is there. <coughs> Some basic basic point they launched. <coughs> okay. So now, now next is our so load balancer is completed guys understood so first point in the load balancer we have distribute the traffic to multiple servers okay and uh, it has in the uh, like auto scaling is a different scenario but by using auto scaling we can decrease and increase the servers in the last sessions we discussed this topic so in the load balancer we call inside the aws elb like elastic load balancer okay and elb is the completely managed by aws and it is a not server it is the service for us okay this is not a server it's a service for us to provided by aws where is my pen 
okay so this is the service this is the service load balancer is the service okay this is the service is the is regional level not regional what is that meaning of regional this is the mumbai region so we you can create the load balancer at the regional level here is there inside that any like availability zones no it's not related to availability zones it's related to regionals okay so that's why we said this is the regional level service so this is the service just click on load balancer it's this is the paid if you go and use this create a load load balancer then you will get the charge okay you should pay the money to that aws so that's the right mean service and next point is you cannot log in we log in into the aw inside this no no just we click on this uh, load balancers and load that uh, create that load balancer that's it as your configuration and elb does not have the availability zone it's, i said to you it's the regional level we are creating regional level we are creating this load balancer we are creating regional level just click on load if you search maybe okay just click on create on load balancer like that so it is creating where the load balancer here you can see application load balancer here some points you can read it so choose an application load balancer when you need to flexible feature set of your application you can read it please read it one more time so we can understand this thing i think you've got a clarity okay so now this is the meaning of load balancer and network load balancer we have this is the application load balancer this is the network load balancer we have and gateway load balancer as well we have so choose a network load balancer when you need to ultra high performance like we need a more high performance so we choose this load balancer okay tls of loading and scale centralized certificate deployment support for the UDP and static IP address for your application operating at the connection level network load balancer as the capable of handling million of requests per second. Okay, million of requests per second, RPM, request per minute, okay, request per second, RPS, okay, securely while maintaining the ultra low latencies. Latency means low latency means it's good. If you're taking a low, low latency, your application is good. Like response time is too high. Okay. Choose an application load balancer when you need to flexible feature set up your application when the HTTP, HTTPS traffic operate, operating at the request level. Application load balancer provide the advanced routing and visibility features target at application architectures. Right. Uh, what is that more if you want to read it more information i will share this uh, okay um, this link my there it's not okay so you can just click on the load balancer you will get it okay choose an choose a gateway load balancer when you need to deploy and manage a fleet of third party virtual application that to support the genuine then the application enable the time like that classification we have okay http https tcp ssl like that we have so you can clear create load balancer like that so this is the regional level service so I think you understood about the load balancer. So next service is we have, this is that uh, elastic services. We have three type of services the AWS providing infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. So these are services as infrastructure as a service, no? infrastructure as a service, right? And now next is our next is our what is that elastic wind stuff elastic wind stuff don't call evm okay 
in the EBS, don't call this is the EBS service. Okay, EBS is the different elastic, elastic beans storage. Okay, not the bean stock. Okay, don't call it EBS. Just call elastic bean stock. So when you use elastic bean stock, so your application is easy to deploy and easy to deploy in AWS. So when you use elastic elastic bean stock, it is providing a platform as a service. Right, platform as a service, so you no need to worry about all these things like security, operating system, okay, managing the your application. Just put your application on that elastic bean stock. That's it. They are totally managed. So when you put your application on, like it uh, uh, like infrastructure as a service so you are the responsible to learn like uh, operating systems laptop operating system right and uh, take care about that load balance take care about that security okay so but in the elastic way stock no need okay easy that's why we said easy to deploy okay so you so here you don't have a control on the servers why right? because the server is managed by aws but in the beanstalk you have full control on ec2 inst instance launched by beanstalk okay it's your responsibility so you can take it okay. beanstalk handle ec2 instance behalf of us okay what is the meaning of behalf of us the bean stock, uh, bean stock, like elastic bean stock handle EC2 instance behalf of us. Like background, what is the backbone of elastic bean stock? So backbone is the elastic bean stock is also EC2. In the background, elastic bean stock is launching and uh, machine is launching or selecting operating system. All these things is working as EC2. But when you use Elastic Winstock service, you don't need to worry about how to manage EC2. Okay, how to manage the security, how to launch the EC2, don't worry. It's doing that Elastic Winstock. That's it. That's it. It is doing behalf of us. So, EC2 launch, EC2 instance configure and deploy. That's it. It is doing configure and launch. It is done by bean stock okay it is done by bean stock bean stock give us some configuration also don't think you don't know you don't think you just put it that your application that said no just provide some configuration now nah? then the elastic bean stock understand this is that application to we need to deploy so now next is <clears throat> Light shell, light shell, light shell, light shell. So this is the one more service. Service. This is providing by AWS light shell. Light shell is nothing but if you want to ready-made all the things, like installed everything is the ready-made you want, then use the light shell service. So light shell service means cPanel. <clears throat> if you use cPanel, GitLab, WordPress. So the, the WordPress and cPanel, there, there are ready-made service are there. These are already a, a proper working and uh, already is available then you then here you can understand if you want set up and create a virtual private server which already has the everything installed uh, installed use lights what is that here everything installed if you want if you want everything installed in your system then use light shell what is that light shell use light shell but light shell we need to use got my point yes
right? So when we use light shell, when I want all these things are ready stored, then use light shell service. So now come into the next service, which is important, very, very important in the interview point of view and real time development. Also, we need a Lambda in AWS. Lambda in AWS is the serverless function. Okay. So now, if you want to develop Lambda, if you want to develop Lambda, okay, so I have to talk to you. Okay. So if you want to develop Lambda in your system, okay. So Lambda is uh, nothing but just a function. It's a serverless functions. Okay, Lambda is taking that, what is that? It using Lambda, we cannot, we can, we can create a functions by using Lambda, we can create the functions. So in that function to put your uh, any uh, command to stop the server, run the server, I will give an example. First, I am just reading this up. Point. Lambda support multiple programming languages to create the functions. Okay. Lambda is used for the automations. Okay. It's a store event stored inside the event bridge. Right. Lambda. So now, suppose, assume that. So this is my uh, one server we have. Right. One server we have. Okay, we have right now four servers here. Yeah. Perfect. So we have a four server right now. So I need to <clears throat> I need to start these all four servers. I need to start these all four server start at 10 a.m. Okay, all server. Right now we have only, okay. So now we need to start this server at 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, so right now we have only which server? Only four servers, just for the example purpose. Okay. Just for four servers we have right now. Suppose we have thousands of servers, then what is the process, guys? What is the process to stop the servers? Go and stop them manually. Okay, sorry, start the server at the morning 10 a.m. When the office is started, then you need to serve us now. Okay, once you start the server, and also, okay, I need to add. Hi, PM. I need to 5 p.m. to stop. Stop the server at 5 p.m. Okay. Stop the stop at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Delete this, delete this, okay. So now, so this is the process we have, guys, okay. So this is the process we have, two process we have right now. First is, what is that? First is, in the morning, we need to start the servers. And after the work, after the work, we need to stop the servers, okay. So, so I need to, this automation, this service I need to automation. So by using Lambda, we can automate these servers. Okay. 
these functionality. We just put the command inside the lambda functions, inside the lambda function, hey functions, uh, how to declare a function, guys. You know the functions, like method. These are supporting multiple languages like Java, Python, different, different languages that lambda is supporting. You can write the functions, okay. At 30 p at 10 p.m., I want to start all the servers. So when the event is triggered, when the event is lambda event is triggered, then automatically the server are start at 10 a.m. When we <coughs> when we get 5 p.m. at the evening, so automatically in the event bridge is event bridge is the event is there i need to stop the fun servers at 5 pm that automatically that lambda is sent to the request to all the servers to stop so all the servers will stop at this so all the servers is stop at lambda so at the morning it's started, it's started, this one is started, this one is started. At the morning, at the morning, the servers is start, the servers is start, the servers is also start. Right. What is the point? What what is the use of this lambda? So this is the use of lambda. Normally is this one, okay. But in the real in the next in the coming sessions. I will give a more, more and more content about this. Okay, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this is the use case of lambda. So now up to this is clear. What is that lambda? When we get a request at 10 a.m., I want to start the server. So just start the server by using create the lambda function one. Lambda function, hey lambda, I need to this uh, start at the 10 a.m. servers. So please start all thousand of servers. One thousand of servers I need to start at 10 a.m. So start it at 5 p.m. I need to stop this all those all servers. So just write the lambda functions, the lambda function will do all the work right there. Okay. So this is the point. How they are resizable. They are resizable because of the quickly scale up will down. Right that. So these are the instances I have given to you, some different purpose to you. So please go through this. So today we completed uh, four services. First, we learned EC2. What is that EC2? EC2 is the server. Okay, EC2 is the service. We can launch EC2 instance or called EC2 server also. So EC2 is launch the regional service, not the availability zone. Okay, and the server is the nothing but instance. Okay, load balancer is the uh, distribute the traffic multiple servers. Uh, in the AWS, the elastic load balancer is there. It's the completely managed by AWS. Okay, and it is not required to log into that server. This is only go and access this service. Okay, and ELV is not a server, it's a service. Uh, ELV does not have the availability zone. It is the regional label service. We create the regional label. Okay, so now next is we learn the light cell. Light cell is if you want all these things already installed, then use light cell. Okay, oh, sorry, beans or uh, light cell, this one. Okay, and elastic beanstalk we have <laughs> elastic beanstalk. When we use elastic beanstalk, easy to deploy, easy to easy and quick deployment is there. In generally, we call elastic beans. In generally, we call the platform as a service you don't have any control on the service servers right now okay in the but in the aws beanstalk you have full control on ec2 instance launched by beanstalk okay beanstalk handle ec2 instance we have of 
Okay. What is the meaning of behalf of us? Well, because internally it is using uh, EC2 backbone is EC2. EC2 launch, EC2 instance, configure and deploy. Right. So now Beanstalk gives some configuration. So we need to deploy our application. So I have written this. Lambda is nothing but Lambda is nothing but the serverless function. What is the serverless mean? Serverless means is we are not going and logging into that Lambda services. Okay. Just we go and use it. Okay. In that, uh, like when we use uh, we service uh, Google Drive. If you want to use Google Drive, you require to log in into the Google Drive. No, no, just go and log in with your email. Like just attach with your email. That's it. And use that. Uh, what is that? AW. Uh, sorry. We uh, service uh, Google Drive, right? Not required to log in again. Just it's attached to that. That here is same thing. When you first you log in into AWS account, then Lambda is there. You can just create the Lambda function. Right? That using Lambda, we can create a functions. So Lambda support multiple programming language to create function. Lambda is used for the automation. Like that we are doing automation we are doing here. Right? I need to start the server at 10 a.m. I need to stop the server at 10 p.m. So we use a Lambda function. So when when where the store the event event store inside the event bridge, when bridge is there, so every event is stored inside this bridge. Then lambda is taking from that event bridge, if all the event from the event bridge. So that's all from today's session. So next I will upload this notes on the Facebook group. So we can collect and we will meet in the next session. There I will going to teach more about these services so thank you thank you